The SSL mixing console defines the word legendary. All you need to do is look at all the history-making albums that were mixed on it, and you'll understand why. A luxury once reserved for high-end studios, the big-budget SSL sound became available to everyone when Waves introduced its SSL 4000 collection. The Waves SSL plugins have become a rite of passage for many, and a status symbol that you've arrived as a mixer and a music maker. I'm here with my good buddy, Mike Frattis, the product manager of the SSL 4000 collection, to find out a little more about how these plugins were made, what's behind the SSL sound, and why it's revered by so many. Mike, you were the product manager of the SSL 4000 collection, which was one of our very first modeling projects. Can you tell us a little bit about what that entailed as it relates to modeling? Well, yeah, as opposed to other products, the challenge here was to understand what makes a hardware tick and how to transfer that into a plugin. So speaking about the hardware, uh, I want to take a look here. We've got this bad boy on the table. Uh, can you tell us a little more about what we're looking at? Yeah, so that's an SSL 4000 reference channel strip that SSL sent us when we started the modeling project. This test jig gives you the option to control all the routings on the channel strip and mimic as if it's connected to a whole desk. But after working a long time on modeling it and getting the compression sound right and the EQ sound right, there was still something missing there. And at a certain point, it started to be the noise, the hum of uh, the mains, uh, and some distortion that we didn't mimic. And at that point, we were like, well, we know it sounds weird to add noise and harmonic distortion and hum into a plugin because up until that point, everybody was trying to get rid of that. But, the, but those are kind of the elements that make it sound analog, right? Well, today we understand it. Back then, when we started modeling it, it wasn't on the list of the things we need to model. And once we started adding that, suddenly it was like, huh, I, I wanted to reach to a point where I AB the two and I can't tell the difference. And until you don't add those, uh, call them artifacts, call them uh, whatever you want, but until we didn't add them, I could always say which one is the hardware, which one is the plugin. And for me, it was a no-go. I had to reach the point where I'm A-Bing them and I'm like, yeah, it sounds... And now, because we worked with SSL, that means that SSL also put a stamp of approval and said, hey, you guys got it. This, this sounds like the console? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when we're talking about the SSL sound, how would you describe it to someone who knows very little about sound? Is there any, is there, can you do it in a really simplified way? Yeah, I think uh, I would define it as punchy and very surgical. That would be uh, in what one sentence. What do you mean sentence. by surgical? That mean, it means that the, the SSL, the EQ, for example, gives you the option to get very, uh, very narrow curves uh, of the EQ where you can filter things out. It can also go to very wide curves, but still the wide curves of SSL are going to be fairly sharp compared to a Neve uh, wide curve, for example. Tell me a little bit about what instruments do you think shine best from the SSL? I would definitely go for like really punchy and gated drums. That's an SSL sound. On all the drums uh, or, or kick, snare? Kick, uh, the, snare, um, kick, the, snare. The drum bus? Over, yeah, yeah, you can go you can go really wild with that. You know, try to go to the 8K on the EQ, like put it dead center, the Q dead center, 8K, bring the volume, bring the gain up. Suddenly you'll have this very familiar presence of the vocals where all, all the sibilances are coming out and are being uh, emphasized, something that you'd go like, oh, I was looking for that for quite some time. And a very, a very good place to start and trying to understand what it can do for me. Um, Chris Lordalgy did a, an amazing job for us in preparing some of uh, his presets from the desk. And if you just go through them and you look at what he's doing, you can learn so much on how to use the desk to its, uh, to its max. Probably gonna do you much more if you're gonna like load his presets on 
all your drums. So you can look at what he's cutting out from the kick but adding to the snare and removing from the overheads but adding to the hi-hat and all that. It's a puzzle that he's building with frequencies and dynamics that if you understand that, it'll give you a step forward in your mixing. And of course, there's other presets uh, as well for many other great artists. Uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, I'm uh, Tony Maserati, uh, we have some- Right, I think Dave Pensado has Dave a Pensado, couple of, of course, uh, presets uh, there. I think that's something that, um, you know, I always try and look at it from the musician side of it, because that's where I'm coming from. I'm, I'm not a mixer, I'm a musician who, who just mixes and is trying to make my own stuff sound better. Mm -hmm. And I know that that's a, a, a lot of you guys out there are, are in the same position. So I think it's really important to emphasize that even when you're looking at something like this, I mean, there's a lot of controls and it's it's pretty daunting, but you don't have to be an expert. You could just open up the presets and, and just find yeah. what you're looking for, which is, that's what I do. I, I you know, especially uh, CLA has got some great guitar amp presets, mm -hmm. you know, run through those, yeah. pick, that's my sound, you know, I don't waste my the, time. The, the, the beautiful thing about SSL, SSL is not about adding half a dB. <laughs> SSL is about going wild. You push it to the limits. Yeah. That's where you get that sound. And it was built to be pushed to the limit and still sound great. Uh, and that's how I recommend experimenting with the SSL desk and with the SSL plugin is just do a lot of what you think you need just a little bit, just try. Just, if you think you need a DB, try boosting three. It's like buying a Porsche and, you know, keeping it at 25 exactly. miles per hour exactly. the whole time. You know, like, come on, hit you know? the gas, hit like, the gas. let's Let go.